We're lucky to be in the city. Book to movie adaptation? That's a narrating. Candor value honesty and order. They tell the truth. Ironically, this seems like a completely subjective faction to find oneself in. How do you grade someone's truth-telling skills? Do they line up a whole bunch of cliche 1980s sitcom moms and ask if this dress makes them look fat? We even feed the factionless. Futuristic society has evolved the word homeless into factionless. Trust the test. Test will tell me who I am. We interrupt this Hunger Games ripoff to bring you the sorting hat ceremony from Harry Potter. Am I smart? Kind? Am I honest? Selfless? This word only kind of means selfless if you're reaching a bit. Aren't there dictionaries in the future? They should have called the Dauntless faction dicks. Dauntless are daunted by doors, fail the test immediately. It is your right. Tomorrow, the choosing ceremony, to choose any of the five factions. Including the truth-telling one? Even if you're the worst lying liar in Lyville? What society says we're gonna break you up into factions because it works? Now, f*** it. You can be whatever you want, even if it's wrong. So wait, there's a technician for every single person getting tested right now? That's an amazing ratio. And what faction are the technicians in? Shailene Woodley is once again not playing Mary Jane Watson in this movie. Wow, I didn't read the book, so I wasn't sure what to expect when people said it was kind of a Hunger Games ripoff, but Jesus. She is literally running after a rabid dog in order to save Katniss's little sister right now. Is this a crossover by chance? But what was my result? Abnegation and erudite and dauntless. But not truthful enough to be in candor, you lying whore. Not impossible. It's just extremely rare. So it's extremely rare for anyone to show more than one trait? These people are human, right? They call it divergent. Roll credits. You can't tell anyone about this. But I'm freely telling you this for some reason because there's no way a divergent kid like you is going to go telling people about your abilities and showing them off in any way. If you explain the danger to her and manually entered a false result for her test, then why do you have to rush her out the back again? There you died. They believe that they should be the governing faction, not us. Well, they have an argument, right? I mean, sure, you're the generous caring type here in Abnegation, but they're way smarter and more logical than you, right? It's at least not an open and shut case that you guys should be doing the ruling. Honestly, I'm kind of wondering how you abnegation folk ever came to power anyway. How did you put yourself away from feeding homeless people enough to pry the government away from the cops and Dauntless? Triss looks at her reflection in the spoon, which symbolizes her non abnegationness But I choose to believe there is no spoon. But you don't really want that. Bitches. This is the first inkling of defiance in this chick. Up until now, she's been quiet, cautious, downright sheepish. Today, though, she's a back-talking little scamp. Holy shit, they're doing this one by one? I hope these kids brought an iPhone that lasts 24 hours. The choosing ceremony is a dick to the guy that has to sanitize this knife after every choice. We saw our brother choose the water one with his blood drop, and Beatrice goes right after him. So, do they swap out the bowls for each choice too? There's no blood in any of these things, but the ceremony's been going on long enough that they should all be covered in disgusting blood stains. Now that she's with Dauntless, how will she ever find a seat for the remaining 127 hours of this ceremony? Okay, so this Dauntless dude gives up his seat, so how will he ever find a seat for the remaining 127 hours of this ceremony? Wow, this ragtag bunch of kids aren't deterred by anything. They're fearless. They're basically Dauntless. Oh, wait, is this all these Dauntless people do? Run and climb on shit? Because how does that help society? You made it. The inclusion of a Kravitz proves this movie is in no way trying to avoid Hunger Games comparisons. Get ready! Uh, get ready is a pretty useless piece of information if you aren't also going to tell us what to get ready for. Like, get ready to jump or get ready to have a dance party. Together? Man, this train is taking forever to pass this building. They've wasted so much time they should have missed their chance, but plot, I guess. If you want to enter Dauntless, this is the way in. So, they're not already Dauntless? They have to choose a faction, potentially alienate their parents, and then jump off a moving train, but that's not fearless enough for you people? Also, what kind of tests do the other factions give their new recruits? Do they all have secondary tests? In candor, are they like, what is your favorite color? Red, no, yellow, ah! We just jumped, they want us to jump again. My thoughts exactly, but having a character in the movie say it doesn't mean it erases the sin. After the first one jumps, this shouldn't be nearly the daunting task they've set this up to be, right? My name's Four. Fuck. You mean we're gonna have to go through all that I am number four bullshit again? The first lesson you learn from me is keep your mouth shut. In other words, when you join Dauntless, it's time to be daunted when it comes to running your mouth. Dauntless has a mysterious system of integrating new recruits so that we, the audience, can avoid learning shit too early. Dauntless faction takes their name way too seriously and extends its symbolism to the fucking bathroom. Scene does not contain nudity, lap dances, or reason to live. Were you a transfer to or Dauntless born? What makes you think you can talk to me? Because you're sitting in the cafeteria with your subordinates? Also, if this is supposed to be some sort of military, these assholes have done a poor job explaining the rules to the new recruits. We believe in ordinary acts of bravery in the courage that drives one person to stand up for another. But we act like assholes to each other for some reason. Welcome to the faction crowd surfing. I want everyone in the pit. Two minutes. Two minutes is not enough time to do anything, let alone wake up. Also, new rules, guys whispering to each other, main character is divergent and she shouldn't say anything about it. Can't we go ahead and expose the Hunger Games catching fire portion of this story? It'll save us so many trips to the movie theater. Sweating! Running! You know, a lesser man would make a catfight reference here. Is this where the other failed Dauntless go? To become tattoo artists? 
How convenient for Beatrice that the medical woman who performed her test and saved her life mysteriously is also a tattoo artist by night. Society. If you don't fit into a category, they can't control you. I don't get it. Yeah, you and me both, babe. This challenge to a character played by a somewhat named actress means that she will easily pass this test with flying colors and there's no suspense at all. Time. Time? What, was that a moment of silence or something? I'm gonna guess that most people could have hung there for the time she did. Do you know? Let's just say they built the fence for a reason. The character is vague about the danger outside the fence because the movie needs to keep the audience in the dark. Also, Game of Thrones much? They're kind of good at this. For some reason. Well, go get it. What well, while they're throwing? Are you afraid? Everybody stop. Stand in front of the target. Just cut this asshole already if you think he can't hack it. Why on earth would Dauntless set up their training this way? It's fucking preposterous. Just cut the slackers and train the others like regular modern soldiers do training. Shit. What about the future requires the training of cops to be overly emasculating and legitimately deadly? Are Marcus and the other local faction leadership aware that the entire Dauntless faction has essentially devolved into a sadistic magic show? Are those Mockingjays? Hey, Triss. That was cool. <sighs> now we're robbing Harry Potter for the dickhead kid mocks protagonist regarding newspaper articles and rumors about them shit. This book may be fantastic, I'll never know, but the movie is about as original as a forgery. Isn't Four actually endangering Triss more by so obviously giving her special treatment and advice in front of everyone else? And in front of the asshole guy? Well, I don't want to piss anyone off, at least not any more than normal. So, ladies of the audience, I ask you, is this society feminist or sexist? It's not like she has a chance against someone who is as much faster and stronger as basically any average male initiate would be, so it's not fair, but it's equal. Right? Train never makes any increases in acceleration and is easily tracked down by a coma patient because divergent. The game's simple. It's like capture the flag. Movie turns into Unreal Tournament, which isn't a sin except for the fact that this movie won't let me play. I'll take the stiff. Oh, picking the weak ones. You got someone to blame when you lose. Or he just wants to f her. Are you paying attention to anything? Also, an hour into the movie and we're still just playing games. Trying to get a good vantage point. Good thinking. No one else thought of this? I am seriously beginning to doubt the efficacy of Dauntless's current training program. <laughs> Sexy ladder break. You're afraid of heights. They were up on that f***ing high-ass fence just a little bit ago, and he didn't show any signs of trouble then. Meanwhile, all other ladder rungs are sturdy as shit. I guess we can't fault the ladder for playing f***ing Cupid just this once. It rarely gets to see people anymore. Oh, I think they might kiss. Meanwhile, all the rest of four squad of inexperienced initiates is just standing down there doing nothing. Or watching these two. And Eric's squad isn't doing any attacking or anything. Tell me if this hurts. Futuristic assholes still haven't learned a thing and still say stuff before shooting people. Wait, this game really is Capture the Flag? So why did Four tell everyone... It's like Capture the Flag. ...when it's actually Capture the Flag? Not telling new recruits about all the crazy twists and turns in this zipline and telling them to pull the brake at the end without telling them what the end looks like? Yep, Dauntless continue to be dicks. Pull the brake! The movie's concept of time is really beginning to piss me off. I guess this person is calling a secret meeting. What better way to do that than shining a f***ing mirror everyone can see? Also, of course nobody sees this because in movies no one has peripheral vision and everyone is completely focused on their mindless tasks. Also, all supervisors decide to look the other way as one of their own walks behind a wall of pallets. What is this place? What's in these sacks? Do you care? No, of course not. We just need to let her have some weirdo conversation with her mom. Are you thoughtless? Listen. Hey! The guard somehow doesn't see Triss's mom when he comes around the corner. Basically, that's the movie telling us that the guard yelled hey before he even got around the corner, which is not only stupid, but hilarious. Fortunately for Triss, the person administering the fear test that will likely reveal her true divergent nature is the dude that has already shown her tons of favoritism. He's touched her awkwardly more times than I can count now. We get it. They're gonna bone. Let's get to that already. You're gonna be facing your worst fears, Triss. We interrupt this f***ing Frankenstein of a cliche-ridden movie to bring you the face your worst fear thing from, Jesus, I don't know, at least a dozen better films that came out before this one. Oh, this movie really is Hunger Games. Triss's first worst fear is dive-bombing birds. I guess Abnegation Faction decided to show the birds to the young children. Shouldn't her worst fear hallucination basically be her in a public square wearing an I'm a Divergent t-shirt? I just want to know how she does it. What's your trick? Everyone in this movie knows what Divergent means, but can't quite seem to come out and say it. Or suggest or suspect that she might be Divergent. Thomas, don't break the glass like that. Isn't what he's trying to say, nobody breaks the glass like that? What does it matter if Dauntless don't break the glass this way? By her own admission, she's not dauntless. She defected. So what does this statement really prove? Tattoo mystery woman who was either not willing to talk or super nervous about it both prior appearances has given up the ghost and is now willing to just calmly tell Triss all the helpful information she knows. Why? Because the story is ready for her to. That's why. You think that human nature is a weakness? Girl who knows that standing out and challenging authority is the fastest way to getting her divergentness discovered keeps standing out by challenging authority. I think... Human nature is the enemy. So, Christianity without the God, then? You're aware that abnegation is undermining the faction system. They're breaking laws, harboring divergence. Why the f*** is evil Kate Winslet telling her all this? 
Why does she believe Triss is in any way special or in a position to help her? On the other hand, if she knows or suspects that Triss is divergent, why bother telling her all this and then letting her go? Three dudes who had no trouble bringing her here suddenly don't have the power to throw her into the pit of death. <laughs> oh, come on, she can pull the guy's mask off and stare dramatically into his eyes, but still not get thrown into the pit by these other two people? Quatuor ex machina. Can't believe Al. Wait, so attempted murders amongst initiates are tolerated? You should lie down, get some sleep, I'll take the floor. We definitely don't need to report the fact that several of your fellow initiates just tried to kill you. He was not gonna pass that final test. Neither am I. Why do you say that? This guy is either the densest motherfucker in history or else he's known she's divergent all this time and just refuses to talk about it because the screenwriter forbade him. Either way, it's a sin because I'm sick of it. You're gonna practice. In my fair landscape? No. In mine. We go in together. Divergentception. Also, Fear Landscape. And this movie is one I am your father revelation away from literally being the most cliche movie I've ever seen. Marcus had a son. F four. Four fears. Man, that is one of the least satisfying and arbitrary origin stories for someone's fake name I've ever heard. If they were truly dauntless, they'd f right now. Or at least strip. I don't want to go too fast. Yeah, going too fast is what those Amity sluts do. Come on, I'm gonna show you something. Hey, that's exactly what he said to get her into the bed. If I'm too good, then they'll kill me. And if I'm too slow, then I'll die. Right. But don't worry, you've practiced this one time, with me, in a simulation that is not going to be the one you're about to do now. So you should pass with flying colors. Good luck, Tris. Oh look, the city of Chicago, otherwise known as Coincidental Timing City, has once again brought this tattoo artist and Tris together. Are they testing every single initiate of every single faction one at a time like this? Even if it's only every single Dauntless initiate, this process would take ages. Like, longer than that bullshit choosing ceremony even. Why can't they see more than this? Isn't this a program of some sort? Where the whole area is mapped out? Wouldn't they be able to see everything and not just this camera angle shot and high dream edition? How is this even a final exam? This is the exact same simulation. If you practice this over and over, which apparently these recruits do, then this would be no challenge at all. Even if the goal was to figure out if they're divergent, why not make the simulation a surprise? What are we doing? Divergent. How did that asshole pass the Dauntless test? Did he have someone dreamy holding his hand through the whole process like Triss? And if so, why is he so dumb? It's probably the convenience he gives to the plot, is my guess. Is this what Snowpiercer would be like if we got to see it from the other side's point of view? Oh man, I hope she didn't get caught. Even though she and the audience have already been informed that these people are just drones now and don't process information like they used to, and there's no danger, or suspense, at all, this We're Both Scared moment brought to you by the committee for making movies longer than they need to be. I think you might be overestimating my character. What is your character, exactly? Abnegation, if left unchecked, will destroy the faction system. Then kill them already! We will restore the peace, and this time it will last. You haven't shown me one f***ing scene of civil unrest or anything opposite of peace among these citizens for this entire movie. Yep, he's an insubordinate, no good, dirty divergent. Better punch him instead of shooting him, that's what I say. Yeah, let's do this in a private place. There's no need to make this public, even though all the executions so far have been public. The irony is that by trying to build suspense in this way, you basically do the opposite. Instead of shooting her right away, which would make the most sense, these idiots take their sweet time, because protagonist. And because they took f***ing 20 seconds to not shoot her, mommy's bullets get to save the day. Good thing they decided to try and execute her here, instead of in front of the houses, or else Triss would be f***ed. Also, those dudes must have been Louisville Cardinal fans. All of these guys got done masturbating and decided to finally show up after their buddies got shot. <laughs> Thank goodness for Triss that Will is a stormtrooper. Honestly, how did he score high enough to make Dauntless with aim this terrible? Triss kills Will, one guy, and suddenly the coast is clear. Oh no, her mother's not gonna die, is she? <laughs> Killers can't hear Triss crying about her mom and don't go in for the all-too-easy kill. And what the f*** are they shooting at, anyway? What now? You're not gonna like it. You're not gonna like it, cliche. Thankfully, the movie makes sure one of the random Dauntless guys she comes across happens to be the asshole from her initiate class. Movie really, really wants Triss to have dead parents. You know it's climax time because the mind-controlling sim machine and all the characters are all in the same room. The brilliance of the faction system is the conformity to the faction removes the threat of anyone exercising their independent will. Well, except for you, right? How do any of the people following her take her seriously? Divergence threaten that system. Good god, the total lack of killing Triss and massive amounts of exposition being given at the end of this movie is f***ing exhausting. Oh, she's gonna talk him out of it now. I know you're in there, Four. What is he, Doc Ock? Okay. Four breaks out of his simulation brainwashing because the power of boners is stronger. Okay, so there are four other people in this room. After this one shot, he should be riddled with bullets, right? Right? After running out of bullets, Four gets lucky and everyone else in the building suddenly doesn't have a gun. Right, the security cam cuts directly to Triss's former best friend right in this moment. Of course it does. I admire you willing to die for what you believe, but so am I. Make out with her already! Oh snap, now Triss is gonna have to show these people a world without robots. A world without rules and controls. Without borders or boundaries. A world where anything is possible. Don't get me wrong, there's a certain beauty to your resistance. F***ing f***. 
protagonist repeats words previously spoken to them, only this time with irony cliché. And these are words Janine just f***ing said five minutes ago. And this is where you realize this is going to end on a cliffhanger, making it no better than an episode of MacGyver. I'm oh, not dead, dead today. I oh, know. How do you know? You woke up from your brainwashing, kicked some ass, and then started running. You couldn't possibly know this. No, we have nothing. No home, no faction. Well, there's always District 13. Wait. I know exactly who you are. Oh, good. Could you fill us in? But we found ourselves and each other. Narration again, just like in the opening minute and now. No narration whatsoever in between. Perfection. This movie would have made a great intro. Instead, we get, what is it, three or four books in this bloated mess of a series? I guess that means a total of five more movies then, right? Stand in front of the target. Ever since CinemaSins began, the most requested thing has been TV Sins. And now it's a reality. <gasps> Click the link in the description below to check it out. And now, the audio outtakes. Mmm, burger. Remember, the enemy has only images and illusions, behind which he hides his true motives. Destroy the image, and you will break the enemy. They call it divergent. It's a condition of mental divergence. I find myself on the planet Ogo, part of an intellectual elite. Mm, right. Okay. Gryffindor! <laughs> Slytherin! That's not a witch or wizard who went bad who wasn't in Slytherin. The first lesson you learn from me. You do not talk about Fight Club. This is the pit. Center of life here at Dallas. And then there's Dauntless. Oh, the Dauntless is the power in these waters, true enough. Dauntless, never give up. Never give up, never surrender. <laughs> Points for bravery, Stiff. But not as many as you just lost for opening your mouth. And watch yourself. Shake your ass. Watch yourself. Shake your ass. Show me what you're working with. My whole body was covered in these little insects. They were in my ears and in my throat. I couldn't breathe. Yeah, they were nice. You know, when you like you grab a woman's breast, it feels like a bag of sand. See, Katniss, the way the whole friend thing works is you have to tell each other the the deep stuff. The deep stuff. Yeah. Uh oh, like what? Like. Uh, What's your favorite color? When I've stepped over the line. 